Hey, and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to explore creating a candle lighting ritual for loss. Whether you've lost somebody that's close to you, whether you've lost a life phase that you still miss, whether you've lost a friendship or a marriage or a dream that was very close to you, lighting a candle is an ancient ritual to commemorate loss. Today I'm actually grieving the loss and commemorating the loss of someone that was very close to me, that was like a mother to me. I invite you to join me in today's ritual. I have a candle today in order to commemorate this loss as is part of my culture and my background to light a candle to commemorate loss. I can now hold space for this day for you as well. I invite you, whether you want to light your own candle or you want me to hold space for you today, we can now talk to the candle about the loss that came up. And you can talk to the candle the same way you would talk to your best friend or to a therapist or to the deepest parts of yourself. And you can tell the candle the parts that you are still grieving and the parts that are still heavy in your heart. Maybe you want to tell the candle, I'm so sorry for what I went through. Maybe you want to tell the candle, I'm so sorry for your pain and for your loss. I'm so sorry for all of the grief. I'm so sorry for the lost memories. I'm so sorry for the experiences you didn't have, for some of the experiences that you did have that weren't bright or colorful. I would like to hold space for all of that and allow the candle to hold space for all of that. The beauty of fire is two things. It is so powerful that it brings light and it is so powerful that it destroys everything in its path. Loss is similar. Loss creates change in us and in others. Loss is the only thing that pushes us out of our mind and into another phase of our life. It creates lasting change within us, whether it's for good or for bad, similar to fire that creates good or bad, and both as well. We can also take a moment to say thank you for whatever, even if it's a neutral or a positive aspect that the change has brought. Maybe we can say thank you for teaching me things I didn't know even though it was painful. Maybe we can say, despite the loss, I'm grateful for the beauty that I had before the loss. Maybe it was a person, maybe it was a relationship or a friendship that did give you some beauty before the loss that you want to say thank you and hold space for and acknowledge. Whatever it is, we can have the knowing that this candle will understand and will hold space for you. We can even take a look inside our bodies and see which part of our bodies are reacting to the loss the most. Maybe it's our feet or our heart or our shoulders. And we can offer that part of our body, our hands, as support. So in our shoulders or in our heart. Today, I'll take a moment of silence to hold space for your loss as well. I will say a prayer that despite the loss and the grief and the sadness, the energy of this candle will also bring you light. It will also bring you warmth. It will also bring you healing. And it will be a seed and a root of something more beautiful, of something more kind, of something more loving. Thank you for joining me today. I'm sending you lots of warmth.